Morning, everybody. Michelle is here, is here in the building. Everything's going magnificent, wonderful, and progressing extremely well. Uh, I know uh, sometimes, uh, you know, when we make goals and make plans, uh, we, 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 we do want to rush through it and rush through it. And, um, you know, and it is important to... Uh, to, to make goals and plans and to get through them, to get through them. Not necessarily, you don't have to rush. Uh, you don't, you don't want to miss any, any steps in your, in your destination, toward, uh, in your journey towards your destination. You want to make sure things are working properly, as I said, like the vehicle. And you can use, the, your, you can use your body as a vehicle or a vehicle, you know, you, literally and in a metaphor uh, a frame of uh, uh, contemplating. You just want to make sure everything is going to be uh, fine-tuned and ready for the journey. All right? So just imagine, think about the people back in the day, you know, when there were no vehicles. And can you imagine the journeys some had to take to go across the country? Right? And so I think sometimes we stay in that mind frame that, you know, that, I mean, it makes sense that it will take as long as it, as long as it, ha it will, um, you know, back in the day, no vehicles, no form of transportation per se, maybe some animals, you know, but it makes sense that that journey can take a while, right? Um, and I'm assuming that you know, back then those human beings, you know, always stayed focused on the destination. But, you know, they took time to rest, you know, and make sure everything was working properly or, you know, things were were still in place to know that, okay, we, we have enough, you know, enough food, water, whatever to get there. So I think a lot of us are still in that mind frame though, you know, that we still need to take so much time in the planning stage and take so much time in the journey. And I say that's a big mistake because the reason being is that remember whether we evolve or not, the planet is evolving nonetheless. Okay, the planet is not waiting for us anymore. We've been given instructions for years after years after years after years after years. And due to our, uh, the fault belongs in, with the human beings as to why we have these memories always constantly getting wiped out about our existence and where we came from, you know, who we are, what we are, and why we are. Is That's a human being fault, okay? Because, like I said, we've been given so many opportunities to finally see that there's a place to be. Now, that's consciously, you know, you can make it, Literally, materially, you know, you could do whatever you want, but there's a place that you need to be. Okay, there's a development to where you need to be. And you can't keep, you know, squirming around in excuses as to why you can't get there. And why you're not ready. Okay, and why you don't have enough. And, you know, all this, you know, it's excuses. And so... You're going to always get a lot of people that are going to give you pushback about how to get to a goal, how to get to a destiny. You will always have people pushing you back, saying, well, no, no, you might not be ready. And sometimes therapists will do that. Because I know when I had this great therapist uh, back in my 20s, I'm in my 50s now, I had a great therapist when I was in my 20s. I decided to put myself in therapy. I thought I needed therapy. Uh, to, to, to work out something, this, you know, my thoughts and this. I didn't know what the problem was, 
but I knew I needed therapy. So I put myself into therapy. And I remember when I, everything started expanding and opening up. And like I said, she validated my feelings. She, she, she saw not a problem with my feelings. She saw no problems with what I was experiencing. She saw no problem with it. But she would not let me go. I didn't tell you that part. Um, when I felt like I was ready, I was ready to go. But she kept saying, no, maybe, you know, she kept trying to pull me back and say this and that and the other. Maybe you're not quite ready. You know, and so people will do that to you. That's my point. You have to know when you are ready. Okay, so many people, billions upon billions of people are talking on social media. Because that's, I mean, that's where it's all, you know, that's where, that's where it is right now. That is a, uh, that's a hot ticket item right now, social media, because it gets everybody's attention, regardless of what you're on social media for, whether you're on there to laugh at the videos, which some are great and fun and laughable, <laughs> where you want to get some information, this and that and the other. So, and, 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 and everybody's countering each other. Someone say, someone will, will talk all negative and someone will talk all positive. And, you know, and, and, the, and the, but, but the, the responsibility is for the human being myself to neutralize that stuff together and, and, and develop some, to develop in myself and then take the course of action or, or take a path. So, and you have to be developed enough to know, okay, I got enough information here. I'm gone or I'm going, I'm going to make a decision. And so again, a lot of you are thinking as if we're still in this, this period of time where we don't have the advancement of technology, right? We, we think, okay, we got time. That's my point. Oh, I got time. I got time. But see, remember back in the day when let's say Moses time, they had none of this technology that we had or have, but yet they managed to get from one side of the country to another, regardless, okay? So do you need technology? No, you don't. So I'm saying that there's, like I said, I've, as I've said for a while, there's something about time. Okay, there is something about timing, okay, and you can spend all that time, because all you do, you know, you can spend all that time in preparation and plans and goals. You can stay in the journey as long as you want. Remember, free will, do what you want, okay, but as an individual, you have to know when you're ready. Nobody else can tell you because like I said, people on the social media platform are countering each other. If you're paying attention, one, like I said, one of them stay, just stay in this extremeness of positivity and another is staying in the extremeness of negativity. And then you'll find people in between that are kind of teetering based on clicks and they need to admit that, but you know, you know, clickbait. And so in other words, they're doing, they, they've set up enough technology to know exactly how we're thinking per se, based on our behavior. Cause that's how you can tell sometimes how people are thinking is by, by their behavior. Okay. And so it's so important for these entities out there to know how we're thinking. So they'll know how to manipulate it. They'll know how to, to deceive it. And they'll know how to capitalize off of it as well. It's about greed as well. There's a greed now for your thoughts. How about that? And like I said, people and people are some people are advanced enough to know that there's that your behavior demonstrates your thoughts. That's why I say you need to control the narrative. So my journey has uh, expanded me to uh, 
to heights of um, stuff that I just was like, wow. And I know that um, once I get to a destination, okay, it, it'll be time. It'll be an, another opportunity to make another, make other plans and goals for, you know. So, yes, it's good to have long term. It's, it's it's good to have a multitude of goals in you know in, in certain increments. And remember, you know, if, if, you know, if one is, is, you know, if you made a, and a lot of people have a deadline, that's a good idea to do a deadline just to keep you aware of it, that you have it, write it down somewhere and file it away if you need to. If it's a five year, write it down, put it away. If it's a week, of course, that's different. So, but my point is you have to be ready. And you need to start moving forward. That's all I'm saying. And not uh, be t entangled with all that stuff that's being talk to, talked on social media. I listen to a lot of stuff. And thankfully, I'm developed enough to know how to, to discern it, to judge it, um, how to get, take what I need from it, and, um, and how to move on and move forward. And refine what I'm doing. Make sure the coast is clear, per se. You know, what's the weather patterns. And, again, a lot of the content is being filtered or blocked from certain regions, certain demographics, certain people, certain groups. Okay, you're being monitored, and I think people ought to accept that and know that that's what's happening. You're being monitored, you're being controlled behind the scenes, and you feel as though you are free, and that you are uh, uh, developing, you know, in this social media space, and you're not. You're being used, actually. So. Again, be mindful of the fact that everybody wants everybody's attention. Everybody wants something from somebody. You know, let's accept that as well. Okay, people are being monitored because they, they like, like I said, a lot of people have recognized that your behavior is usually can be tied back to how you're thinking. So a lot of people are using that to manipulate you, to deceive you. To delay you, delay you, you're not ready. They keep telling you, you're not ready, you're not ready, you're not ready. Even though, you know, you know you're ready. Like I said with that therapist, I knew I was ready to, to end that therapy. But then she kept trying to pull me back, pull me back, pull me back. And you need to have the strength to know, okay, I've had enough. I, I have what I need. Just the same thing like when I moved out of my parents' house. I was the last one to leave. I had to know that it was time to go. And I knew it. And so that's how I feel now. Okay. And what's different now is the, is, is uh, that the fact that I'm, ex I can, I can, it's an expansion of my reality. Okay. Yes, there's limits to a material reality. Okay. But it's unlimited in energy and thought and, uh, you know, the mysteries of the universe. I mean, there's just so much more, I should say, is what I'm saying, than my physical, so much more. And that keeps me encouraged as well to know that there's more to me than just me physically. But I have to take a certain path to get there so that I can be ready for that next phase of my life. Okay, I hope this all makes sense. If it doesn't, you know, you know what to do. Swipe. All right. So I want to go ahead and send peace and love to everyone all over the stars, over the moon and mountains. I'm doing wonderful, magnificent, and I extend that to you. Know when you are ready. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise.